Maybe you have invoice component like this and you want to export it as a PDF. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to basically download any React component and we are going to convert that into PDF. As you can see, if I click download PDF, it's going to be download that file. And then if I open that, it's going to be look like this. As you can see, this is really great. If I just zoom in, for example, as you can see, it's just clean. All right, so that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's just get started. To generate a React application, I'm going to use Fit. So we can use NPM, Create Fit at Lattice, and any name application we want. And we, we can use any template. In this case, I'm going to use a React TypeScript. So let's just put in that command on a terminal and we can enter that. Let's cd to my app folder. And from here, I'm going to open that into Visual Studio Code. I want to use Tailwind for styling. Basically, you don't have to use Tailwind. You can use any UI library you want. You can use Booster App. You can use anything you want, basically. Pure CSS, anything. But in this video, I just want to use uh, Tailwind CSS. So let's go to Framework Guides, Feed, and just follow along all this instruction. I'm going to copy that comment right here and then open a terminal and just paste it right here and hit Enter. So next, let's copy all this Tailwind config.js right here and go to Visual Studio Code and find the Tailwind config js and then let's just paste that right here and then the next thing is you're going to copy all this index.css content go to index.css inside your visual studio code and just paste that right here great so let's just close everything great so let's open that localhost 5173 now we should have this right here right so let's go to source and then uh, i just want to remove all this default styling right here or i just want to remove the app.css go to app.tsx just remove everything on the top right here and also all the content right here just remove the use state we don't need that let's take a look what we have as you can see we have the button with background red now let's create the invoice component let's go to source right here create another components folder and inside that folder i'm going to create invoice just like this dot tsx and i'm going to generate rfc let's change the component into invoice and we are going to import that right here i just want to paste my invoice styling right here this is just really simple basically so this is will make all the content on the center this is basically will adding some maximal weight and also this is will add some border and as you can see we have some display flex that will make this a diff on the left this is make will diff on the right and other styling so let's just save that and then this is what we have okay really simple so what we want is when i click this download pdf button it's going to be download the document so what we are going to do is on this download button right here I'm going to run this function handle download PDF. So let's create that function on the top right here. Cons handle download PDF set equals to error function. So next we are going to select any element that we are going to export as a PDF. So we are going to use use ref come from react and then just put this print ref to whatever you want. For example, you want to put that right here. You, you can say like ref set equals to this print ref. So if you're putting that right here, so all this div right here is basically all the element that we are going to print as a PDF, right? Inside the handle download PDF function, I'm going to set the element set equals to print ref dot current. This basically will get the DOM element. So if I console log the element, so as you can see, if I click download PDF, the element that we set right here Specifically, that have minimal hake, background gray that we see on the console, right? Just for safety, I'm going to check if there's no element in here. I want to just return null or just return nothing in here. All right, so the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to convert this element into canvas. So we are going to use package called HTML to canvas, which is this package right here. Let's first install it. After we install the package, as you can see on the documentation right here. So this package is basically returning parameters. As you can see right here, right? Of course, we are going to set this function into async. And then down here, we can do like cons and then canvas set equals to await HTML 
to canvas like this and then we are going to put the element right here just like that after we convert the dom element into canvas next we need to convert this canvas into image so you can say cons data so that equals to canvas dot to data url and then in here i'm only i'm going to use image slash png so yep i'm going to change that canvas here into image slash png and then down here we need to use package called js pdf in order to basically add this image right here data image into the pdf so let's first install the package npm install js pdf so let's install on the terminal the way we use this js pdf is right here as you can see the default export is a uh, a4 paper portrait and using millimeters for units let's just copy this right here i'm gonna copy that and then paste that right here so let's just import the js pdf on the top right here right let's change the variable name into pdf and then as you can see we run new js pdf and the orientation i'm gonna set that it to uh, portrait and also for the unit i'm gonna use pixel and also for the format which is the format of the document i'm going to use a4 which is the default format okay after we do that down here we can say like pdf dot add image like this basically the image come from this data i'm going to set that into this pdf so i'm going to say pdf dot add image and then send the data like that also as you can see right here the format value i'm going to use png like that and also the number x right here it means that the x position so i'm going to set that to zero so it's going to be start from horizontal x zero and also y is going to be also zero and also a width i'm going to set uh let's say a hundred for now just doing that like that just for example and down here we can say pdf dot save just like that and then we can put any name we want so let's say example pdf like that dot png pdf of course not png like that so now let's save and let's start the app so let's try to click download pdf and as you can see on the top right here we have the download pdf and as you can see this is really small because the width we set it to 100 pixel and the height we set it to 100 pixel as well so let's try to make it bigger this is what we have right yeah the download functionality is works and the convert to pdf it's works so now let's working with the simple styling in here so we get better styling for the pdf right so let's go back before we add this data into this pdf we need to basically get the width and height inside the data image right here okay so what we are gonna do is let's say cons emg properties set equals to pdf dot get image properties and then i'm gonna send the data image like that and if i just console log that this is what we have as you can see we have hake 993 and then we have width 1150 and etc let's get the pdf width from the pdf variable right here that we initialize the js pdf so this is basically we'll get the width of this format right here that we use which is a4 for now and then down here we are going to calculate the hex so we get the perfect height. so this is the pdf hex that we have as you can see this is basically will times the image property dot hex with pdf width and also divided that with image property dot width so we get the perfect image ratio for the hex after we get the pdf width and pdf hex so now let's just put the width right here and the hex right here right so let's just save that and let's try to download the pdf again so i'm gonna click that and then let's open it as you can see this is what we have but we get everything as you can see the button and also the border rounded right here and etc we don't want that so basically i want to render just start from this border right here right so if you want to change that just simply change the ref position into whatever you want to do so i'm going to paste that right here so basically this border will will also print out 
So let's save that. And then I'm going to download that again. So let's click download PDF. And then we have right here. And as you can see, we have this beautiful invoice. But now as you can see, if I zoom in, for example, like zoom in right here, as you can see, the text, it's kind of like not good to see, right? So we can fix this issue with really simple configuration in this HTML to canvas. So we can send like scale and then we can do two like so and then just save that now let's try to download that again and then let's open it let's zoom it as you can see now it's more better this is the new with scale 2 this is without scale 2 as you can see the different right so yep yeah, that's for this video and hopefully it is helpful and you can implement that in your react application thank you so much for watching guys see you on the next one